tonight we're at the workbench and I've got a uh, MTH Hudson steam locomotive. I've got the shell off of both the locomotive and the tender. And I bought this uh, for cheap because the sound system had gone out. And uh, I thought maybe I could fix it. And uh, in the process of fixing it, I burned out the rest of the electronics so nothing works now except for the headlight and instead of buying a new circuit board or parts and trying to fix it I decided that I'm going to put a uh, bridge rectifier in and the reason why I'm going to do that uh, besides cost is that you can't run a DC motor off of AC it'll just scramble it uh, so I've kind of gone through the locomotive. Uh, I noticed that the headlight will still work on AC. That's fine. Hoping the smoke still will. Uh, here's where the uh, pigtail plugs in from the tender. And I noticed that the yellow wire is for one side of the DC motor. And the blue wire is for the other. And so basically I need DC power uh, to the blue and yellow wires. The orange wire comes from the power pickup for the middle rail. And uh, the black wires go to the headlight and the smoke uh, unit. So what I'm going to do is utilize this empty hole to mount this bridge rectifier. I've already cut the long leads off of it. I'm gonna solder the wires to this. If you can see there, if I can get a close up on it. My DC is gonna come off the outside and the AC is gonna go to the inside. So it's grounded right here and that's going to go be one leg on the inside and the other leg is going to be this orange wire that comes from the power pickup and so let's see how we do it we've got the wires uh, unsoldered off of here and soldered to the bridge rectifier and i've got a 50 50 chance that i've got the uh, dc wires hooked up correctly so it will run in forward and uh, one disadvantage of the bridge rectifier is you no longer will have a forward and reverse and so we want it to go forward only uh, may or may not have a smoke unit depending on how it's set up and uh, I'll be uh, putting the shells back on this I'll probably put the tether uh, inside the tender so it's not hanging out. We don't want to look at that anyway. So let's give it a try. Well, we got it forward and it looks like the headlight works. It's a nice smooth runner. Let's put the still back on. We've got the body back on the MTH Hudson and uh, really looks great. And we were able to take a locomotive that didn't run at all and make it run. The price tag on this locomotive was $300 when it was new and uh, it has new life again with a uh, part that costs less than $5. So, Hope you enjoyed it, and let's give it a run.